So, you know, we're a few episodes in. Is Brian, like, has he figured out NZT or is there still going to be some curveballs thrown at him as far as what happens when he's on it? Uh, I think it's powerful enough that, and the brain is multifaceted enough that I wouldn't say he has figured out his entire bag of tricks on NZT. Um, I, I, I think that would get... Uh, I'd get bored writing those gags over and over again, you know. So I think I think that, um, you know, first of all, Brian needs that booster shot to be immune from the side effects of NZT, and we, we're going to be doing some playing with that. Um, uh, but Brian's always figuring out new ways uh, that he can use the, the connections that he's making in his brain. For example, that we I just I just wrote an episode. Uh, you wouldn't have read this yet, but there's a phenomenon called synesthesia, which is uh, you certain people in the world experience, say, smell as color, you know, right. um, and, oh, yeah. and Brian, for the purposes of an investigation, finds those connections in his brain and develops the ability to do that. Um, so he's, I think he's always sort of expanding uh, his bag of tricks. As you're hearing this uh, new revelation, Jake, what's it like for you working on this show and each getting each script and being like, okay, this is what I'm doing this time. This is what skill set I need to know. Oh, it's been awesome. It's kind of like um, in the Matrix where they just upload different programs and different skills into your brain. You just become great at them instantly. Like I got to play the cello. I've spoken many different languages. I think when you were on set, I was learning Vietnamese or about to start learning Vietnamese. Yeah. So uh, it's a great challenge. I love it. And what's cool about the way, I mean, who Brian is is always so present, even in these long, long, long monologues of dialogue that are, you know, a lot of medical jargon or whatever he's talking about on NZT. You never really lose who he is, so it's really easy to track. They do a really good job of like um, keeping him grounded and keeping who he is present, and and his personality on NZT. You know, the way he decides to illustrate his ideas for other people are very unique and very much his personality. So uh, it's great, and it's always fun to hear where it's going. Because, um, you know, I can be so immersed in the episode we're shooting at the time that, like, you know, I don't really get the scripts as, as fast as some other people, and, and so to hear what's going is rad. Uh, in the uh, pilot, and we've seen this a couple times now repeated to kind of underline it, uh, Bradley Cooper's character, Eddie Morrow, is pretty threatening uh, of Brian. Can you talk about that, and, you know, should we think of him, uh, you know, as a, an ominous presence at this point? I think based on what you've seen of him, uh, it's fair to think of him as a... Uh, as certainly a free radical of some kind. Um, I think that, um, you know, that, that Ed, the, the character of Senator Edward Mora is much further down his journey with NZT than the character of Brian Finch is. Um, and so, uh, you know, Bradley very much, and we were on the same page with this, he's, he's, he's in an almost post-human place, you know? Um, and so his concern, he, he, he's, He's viewing the world, uh, you know, from the top of a from the top of a Ferris wheel, or, or from a, from a Doctor Manhattan perspective. If you read Watchmen, you know, I mean, he um, he's kind of like he's got that's where he's gotten after having taken the drug for so long. So, I think he seems his intent his intent is not always nefarious. Uh, I think that he that he actually plans to do good for the world, but he has such a broad view. Um, that little small fit, like you know, little small things like Brian Finch. Uh, yeah, they can get broken in the doing of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, one thing I think people are really appreciating about the show is its sense of humor uh, and that you know it can uh, have dramatic sequences, but then also have a, a very light, fun touch with what's happening to him. Uh, has that been fun for you to sort of figure out how to play that and also see the final product where the visuals that they put into these sequences? Yeah, no, that's been, that was the transition from our, our pilot, I think, into the second episode really introduced that. Where there was a lot of action and a lot of running around and, and kind of stunt work in the pilot, it was it was a lot of ways um, transitioned in the second episode to the humor and kind of highlighting just the absurdity of the situation, how excited Brian is to be part of the FBI when he's totally underqualified. And for the first time in his life actually has purpose and direction that people have given him a reason to be excited to be around. So the best parts of his personality are allowed to shine. So it's been great. I mean, that's been who Brian is and the potential of who he can be without the pill was the best character work I could do on Brian. Because then when he's on the pill, yeah, everything becomes a little bit more, you know, uh, it's just different. Everything's everything's really, really right there at the forefront of his mind. So, you know, it, we see him a lot in the pilot on NZT kind of in a crisis situation. So to kind of step back and figure out who he is and, and how he likes to have fun and how excited he is to be working for the FBI was excellent. 
Yeah. Mora Asente, representative, I believe Sands is his name in the last episode. Uh, how will that develop between him and Brian? Should Brian be fearful of this guy? And when might we see uh, Eddie and Mr. Cooper again on the show? Uh, well, if I were Brian, um, and I guess in a way I kind of am, um, <laughs> although really it's you, um, I would be quite fearful of Sands. Um, I mean, Sands is the... Uh, if, if, if there's a better world on the other side of a wall, Sands is the guy who runs through that wall to get there and doesn't care about what damage he causes, you know? So he's, he's Eddie, Eddie Mora needs a guy like Sands who is very draconian in his methods um, and, and doesn't think much of Brian at all. So he, he, that character is going to be, be around quite a lot. We love Colin Salmon, who plays him. He's been great. Um, and uh, stay tuned as to when you'll, uh, when you'll see Bradley next. Yeah. Well, guys, thanks so much.